Hey YouTube, I want to talk today about the challenges of trying to get faster. And as a new rider, how tough that can be. This orange fellow that you see on my left, he's one of the great people I get to ride with. We're going to call him Brad. You getting the workout in? Yeah, you? Yeah. We could go faster. We could go faster. Not a phrase I'm surprised to hear from an ex-pro flat track rider who's now in his late 50s and still killing it. Brad showed me some more open flowy trails that I've never really ridden before. And it's a unique experience. I spend most of my day riding between 70 and 85% of my skill level as far as speed, assessing the trail, angles, cornering, things like that. Brad, on the other hand, it's a walk in the park. He's sitting down most of the day, it's effortless, and he's still somehow much faster than me. I really don't see him make a lot of mistakes. He rarely crashes. However, even if I don't crash, I'm making a ton of mistakes, whether it's overthrottling so I don't have the traction I should have, maybe going too fast into a turn, too slow into a turn, maybe not properly weighting the bike. All said and done, I'm making a million small mistakes that even at his leisurely pace that is, he's taking, he's still much faster than I am. The truth is, I'm a pretty competitive guy. Not outwardly, but definitely with myself and inwardly towards others. So when I do catch him in kind of the thick of things, I really try to go hard. And a lot of times I'm more prone to making even worse mistakes when if I would have just followed my own pace, the truth is, I probably would have did better. Fuck! That expression, race your own race, I think it's really true when it comes to dirt bike riding. The moment you think about that fall you had, or how your girlfriend's angry that you're out dirt bike riding, you're gonna to tend to make a lot more mistakes. It's really important to stay 100% focused, not just so you can ride better, but for your safety. There's a lot of YouTube videos. They're gonna talk about the attack position, standing up, proper weighting of the bike. Those things, they're all mandatory. Something that I don't see a lot of YouTube videos talking about is confidence. A lot of riders do not want to admit they're scared, but confidence can make you ride much, much better. It also can get you hurt way worse. I can only speak for myself, but the truth is, I probably scare myself numerous times when I'm riding. And when I'm really pushing myself in a ride and going hard on it, I'm kind of scared the entire time. But like most things, you build up a tolerance if you keep experiencing it. And you'll get faster, you'll push yourself harder because you become acclimated to that fear. I saw in a YouTube video once that you should push yourself to about 85% of your riding capability. Not 100, not 90, not 60, but constantly in that 85% mark. Because what you really want to do is you want to push your boundaries and as you push those boundaries you'll become more comfortable you'll learn the bike better and you'll become a better rider if you have the opportunity to ride with people who are more experienced and better than you i really recommend taking it learning from them is invaluable there's so much information that you'll process just naturally trying to keep up with them or seeing them th do things that you may have not thought were really possible. Typically when I ride, I ride all day. So these videos that you see are usually a montage of a single day of me riding. I usually ride about six to eight hours and that can be anywhere from 30 to 50 miles. To be able to do that at a good constant speed takes a lot of conditioning. Running in my own time, dieting, I've dropped weight since I've started this sport. It is a tough sport. The ride in this video was actually done at the beginning of summer, and I think I'm about a year and five months into my riding career. It's also 95 degrees outside. It was stifling hot. The moment you slowed down, the moment you lifted your bike, the moment you're forcing your bike around any turn or hill, that sweltering heat just baked you. It's a sport and a mental game that's for some people and definitely not for others. For me, 
it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. And the last year and eight months or so at this point that I've been writing have just changed who I am as a person, changed my mentality in a lot of ways. I think it's made me a stronger person. It's definitely made me a healthier person. And I've met an incredible group of people along the way. I'm thankful to everybody I ride with. And I'm thankful to you, the people that subscribe to this channel and the people that watch my honestly terrible videos. But uh, I enjoy making them and I hope to get better at them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time.